What's going on guys, Bao here back with some MGG PvP, so let's get into this. In the last one we did make it to, well technically we made it to silver, we just gotta get enough tax to get to silver. So let's sort this by level, we are level 39, I am going for level 40, hopefully probably in the next like week I'll be able to get uh, enough silver to actually get it. It is 48, uh, I'm gonna say 49 million to actually level it, so... But let's get into this, we're going to be taking out the faster one. Uh, we are using my setup because we're facing a lot of uh, people around my level or above my level. So I actually want to use the mutants I want to use. I'm not just going to use some random ones. Plus we already have a bunch of points and I'm going to be going for gold this time around. Because I actually need gold stars to actually level some of the mutants I want to get. Uh, my tag has been changing. Um, because uh, the new level, I'm not too sure what it is. I know some people were saying it was um, the bat and stuff like that, but there's nothing I can do about that right now. It's going to be changing. It's just I got to level them and that takes a while. Even, uh, even if uh, I had an EXP, it would still take a little bit of time because I don't have any EXP boost, so I'm doing it with uh, whatever experience I can get from the fight I'm in, so I'm pretty sure it's changed by now. I'm not too sure if it's still the bad. If it is, then that's kind of weird because I've gotten quite a few up to 39 bef after the bat, so I usually try to get the faster ones first so that way I know they're not my, um, my tag later on, so... Plus I got a bunch of new gold ones, I got the experience, stuff like that. Those guys are going to be start to be my tag sooner or later. Like right now he's only like level 17 or 18. It's just a matter of time before I get him to 39. Like I said, I don't have any EXP, like double EXP or anything like that. And I'm not going to buy him because it's a waste of gold. So unless I get that from the slots or something like that, then... Uh, you can just use me as a heal for now. Alright, he's got two bats and a tank, so we're gonna take the tank out. And then the bats are gonna be easy to take down, especially with um, the setup I have. Using a setup like that doesn't work out as great, especially if you're using two bats. Maybe you should have went with the bat and like the star trooper or something like that. Um, just for the fact that... Uh, if I was actually setting up my team to go against something like this, then um, yeah, you probably wouldn't be able to do anything. It's never a good idea to have two of the same mutants, or th even three for that matter, unless you're like really high level and uh, don't even care at that point. But if you're lower level, never put two of the same. Always have uh, three different ones. Alright, let's continue going. Something like this where you can't tell what it is. Well, you can kind of tell, but now that they added so many new ones, there's no way to actually tell which uh, three you're going to have. I mean, there's a common set of uh, mutants that a lot of people use, like the doll. Um, stuff like that, so we're going to take the doll out first. They're all faster mutants, so no matter which one I take out, they're still going to attack. So... Let's uh, take down the trooper next, since we're going to be able to put more damage into him. Oh, we might- whoops! I clicked the wrong skill! No! I was going to say we might actually take him down. But, um... I don't know what I was thinking there, I was just clicked on it and then attacked. My bad. Eh, we still won either way, so it really didn't matter. Alright, let's switch it back. We would have killed him instantly. And uh, that would have never happened, but my bad, I messed up there. Alright, let's go on to the next one. See, both the, uh, all three, there's like eight different mutants there that are level 30. No, there's like five, six that are level 39, so I don't know what my tag is. And there's a bunch that are level 38 that are about to be 39, so we'll see what my tag is in a few days. And of course that guy goes first, but we're going to take down the guy in the middle because he's going to attack next. 
And then we're gonna get in an attack on this guy. And there goes our bat. And this guy attacks. Hopefully we can take him down with this attack. Nope. I was hoping to take down the bat. Because sometimes I can get the crit and uh, destroy him, but... Let me see. It doesn't matter which one we actually take out because they're going to take down my last one, but I have enough damage into this last dude to actually kill him before he kills us, so I think we're good here. There we go, another one done. We're actually doing pretty good this season, so I'm going to try to stick with this and uh, try for the gold status. We still got eight days left, so we still got a lot of time. The new event is coming up in a day, so be prepared for that. I'm not too sure what they're going to give out during that uh, PvE, but uh, I'm hoping for a better newer mutant or something that I can actually use. If not, then that's going to kind of suck. I'll just go for the gold. Um, on that, I don't know if you guys want me just to put up the whole hundred, because I do complete it in one day. So... I could put up all the fights in a day if, if I wanted to, but... I usually spit them up over a few couple days, so... We'll see what you guys say. I'm not too sure if you guys want it like that or not. But there's another, another win right there. I'm not too concerned about the wins, we're just trying to get up to a the number we need because we are in the top 1% at this point and we currently are fighting people that are gold and silver so it's just a matter of getting the 50 attacks well 30 for the silver and 50 for the gold once we get those we'll be in the top 1% gold star and uh, I'll continue to go after that even though I don't really have to but um, I don't know you guys seem to like PvP so but uh, I like using my team. There is a bunch of other teams out there you can use depending on um, what the enemy has. But I found this one to actually be pretty good. Even though a lot of people don't like the bot, I don't know why. Uh, I could switch him out for a different one, but as you can see, I'm doing just fine without him. And here's... Ooh, we're going to actually lose this one. Because last time I already had some damage into the guy. Yeah, we're going to lose this one. I remember this because I took down the bat and then I got uh, one attack or this guy got one attack off then I got one into him he was already damaged though at that point so he's gonna survive with a little bit of health here crit 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 nope damn if we had one more attack into him we would have won that but as you can see my team's actually pretty good I mean I don't know I just picked whatever I I liked at the time. I actually picked this up a while back, so... Back when the bat was actually the only fastest mutant in the game. Now there's a bunch of other ones. Um... Ooh, this is actually a weird setup. Cause that, uh, zombie dude's gonna own me. I need to take him down. There's no other way to do this. Cause all my mutants are weak against him, except for... Nope, all my mutants are weak against him. So we're gonna have to take him down first, and then now we're gonna have to work on another... I guess we'll go for the bat. And there goes my strongest one. He didn't even get to attack, which kind of sucks. So we're not looking too hot here. Come on, one-shot him. Yes, we got him done. But then I died. Yeah, we lost. That was a pretty good setup, actually. That's a pretty good defense team. Well, against my team, anyway. Not in general. Like, uh, there's a few out there, but, uh... If you actually set up for... his defense, then you can actually beat him. Like, if I were to see him again, I, I know what he has and I can just set it up, but, uh, I don't like doing that. Alright, let's use that. So he's level 109. He has gold. Damn, he's already got 50 attacks. Well, the event's been going on for a couple days now, so... I mean, of course he's got gold status already. He's got the 50 attacks in, which I'm lacking. I'm gold status right now. I'm just not, uh, don't have the attacks in. Today I'm hoping to get silver, 
And then on the next one we will be getting the gold status, which is another like 20 attacks. Hopefully we can get it on the next one. If not the one after that, and then we're just going to be able to keep, uh, we're just going to have to try to keep our gold after that. And hopefully level up our Evo to 40, which is my goal at this point. So, oh, what the hell happened here? Oh, I leveled. That was weird, 272. And I don't know what's going on. Alright, let's uh, use this. And this. There we go. Same level as me. Let's see what happens. What the hell is going on? Level 123. What happened there? Ah, uh, come on. Alright, so we had to refresh there, of course, because... Ah, the game, the game, the game. And I lost that last one, I bet you anything. Because it started the match, but then it crashed. So that automatically gives you a loss, which is kind of retarded. They really need to do something about that. Because you do lose points as well to that person, even though you probably would have beat him. But, um... Ooh, wow, this team's not looking too hot either. Uh, let's take down that one. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. Um, I mean, we're gonna be able to take down. No, let's just. Oh, we got a crit on that one actually. Yeah, we're gonna lose this because it's gonna take down the bat, and then they're gonna get a bunch of attacks in now. So maybe if I was a uh, level higher, I probably could have get got that done. Look at that, I survived those four attacks. Yeah, if I was a level higher, because he's two levels higher than me, maybe if I was the same level as him, I would have won that. So, that kind of sucks, but that's fine. We'll take the loss. We're still in the top 1%, 1251 points. Uh, some of levels, level one, two, three. The same as the other guy. Um, he's got the doll, no, he's got the bat on. Yeah, he's got the- oh, this is the same one. Ooh, maybe we should play this one a little bit differently. See if we can actually win. Let's take down this guy. Even though I should take down the bat first. But then we'll take down, um, this guy over here. Damn, he got his tag off. And he killed my strongest guy. If that guy was still alive, if he didn't use his tag there, I think or he got a shitty tag, which would have helped me a lot. I think I would have been able to take down that guy, and then the bat would have been able to take down. Alright, we're just gonna focus on the bat, see if I can take him down. And then, uh, this dude's gonna one-shot whoever he attacks, of course. And we get two extra hits in here, which isn't gonna be enough. If I would've got one attack on him with, uh, my stronger mutant, it would've been over. I would've actually won that one. So he got a good tag there, which uh, messed me up, so... But that's fine. We need one more attack and then we're gold, or silver status, and then we're going to be able to get to our gold after that. Uh, after we get to silver, I think that's going to be about it for this one, so this is going to be our last one. And then uh, the next one we will be going for gold. Uh, we're going to take down the bat here. Because he's the fastest, and then we're just going to be able to pound the other one, I don't know which one we're going to be able to, well, let's just do that one I guess. It doesn't matter which one we start hitting first because he's going to get destroyed either way. Like if we went for the other one first, he would have got destroyed and then the other guy would have gotten an attack in. But uh, yep, that's going to be about it and just destroyed these two. Done. Alright, let's see this silver status. There we go, there's our silver status, get our silver star, next one is going to be gold, but uh, that one's, that's going to be about it for this one, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and we'll talk to you next time.